Welcome to the Richard Lloyd USA YouTube channel. I'm Richard Lloyd. I recently had a question uh, about adding ports to an Ethernet, uh, sorry, adding Ethernet ports to a router. Uh, as most routers generally uh, come with four ports, more modern ones now have more Ethernet ports, but you know, for the longest time, they've had, they've been limited to four Ethernet ports, as you see here. This one has four one gigabit per second Ethernet ports. And uh, anyway, the, the, the person who was asking me the question had a router which resembled this. Every port on the, on the LAN side, you know, was populated and they needed a fifth port, but they needed all the four devices that they had plugged in by Ethernet still plugged into the router. So basically he needed an extra port. So uh, I advised him how to do it and I figured I'd make a video showing you how to do it as well if you didn't know how to do it. Uh, and it's very cheap, it's very fast and uh, it, it absolutely secure. In other words, there's no difference in this solution than just plugging into your router with an ethernet uh, patch cord. So uh, let's show you what uh, we're gonna do. So what we're gonna do first is disconnect that green cord. You saw that I had a green cord over here. I, I disconnected it from the router. So now we have a free ethernet port on the back of the router and we need that uh, to, to you know implement the solution. Then we're gonna go here to the next uh, slide and you're gonna need a ethernet patch cord of some kind or ethernet cable. Now people don't know, know this about ethernet but it can be as long as 100 meters or 328 feet. Uh, long before it starts not being a reliable connection. So that's a pretty long way if you need to go a long way. But uh, I suggest that you get category six or higher. Uh, I think they're up to eight, category eight at this point. You don't need anything crazy like that for one gigabit. Uh, but for higher speeds, like there's now 2.5 gigabit uh, ethernet ports on routers. So again, this solution is for one gigabit uh, ports. But if you have a higher one, uh, like 2.5, just buy a faster uh, piece of, uh, well, a, a faster switch. So we're going to take that Ethernet port, plug this patch cord into it, and then plug the other patch cord into a one gigabit Ethernet uh, switch. This is, this is what this is called. Uh, this is called a, a switch. And uh, uh, then at that point, we're, once doing that, there's no configuration. The switch, these switches are basically plug and play, uh, kind of passive. You don't do anything with them. You just plug them in and they auto sense what's going on and off you go. Uh, and they can also be plugged into uh, higher speed ports. Like you could plug this into a 2.5 giga, uh, gigabit port, but you're only going to get one megabit out of the switch. So, you know, if you want the 2.5, get a 2.5 gigabit switch. Now, uh, also, they're auto-negotiating and they will also go downwards as well. So if you have a 100 megabit device that you want to plug into this thing, it will switch down to 100 megabit for that device. So really, really cool, really plug and play and very cheap. This is under $9, this, this little switch. Okay, so we've got the patch cord plugged into the back of the router. Uh, let's go one more. And then we take that green cord, plug it into the back of the switch. And now you have three more ports plus everything you used to have plugged into your router uh, in this switch. Off you go. One gigabit speed uh, and it works absolutely uh, solid and, and great. Uh, these are, this is a Tenda five port uh, one gigabit switch which, is, which I've used for months and months uh, between my router and my uh, cable modem without any issue at all. I was just testing it to see if was it, you know, if it was any good. It is very good. And I didn't notice any uh, speed uh, de uh, degradation or anything on that uh, connection because it was plugged into a switch. So, and either when it's on the back of my router, I don't notice any speed difference. So it's really transparent, like it's not even there. So next, uh, now, if you need more than three more ports, just buy an eight port switch. Again, this is a Tenda uh, and this is under 12 bucks. This is an eight port switch, gigabit switch, does everything the five port does just as well. Just gives you a whole bunch of more ports and uh, it's excellent. They work great uh, and very cheap as I noted. So if you need more than than you know three extras well now you've got six extras on, on with this solution again you're still under 12 bucks you know it's like wow um and for me i use an eight any port uh switch like this one uh 
be on my router uh, primarily. I don't have anything plugged into the e into my router except the eight port switch. And then I plug everything into the switch and I don't notice any speed difference there at all either. And I have a lot of ethernet devices. So what that does is it's, it's you know, I play with routers and when I unplug a router, all I need to disconnect from that router is the uh, ethernet cable going to my modem and the ethernet cable going to my switch. And then that's it. I take the router off, I put a new one in there, plug the modem back into the router, plug the switch back into the back of the router and I'm off to the races. Everything is connected all at once. So yeah, it makes life a lot simpler. And also I don't notice any degradation in speed or performance through these switches. They're fantastic, really. They're a great value for, uh, you know, an easy solution to adding more uh, ethernet ports to your router. Okay, let's, and, and I'm going to do more videos on these things uh, on how to use them differently, right? But this is, you know, one solution for one person. Uh, let's go to the next uh, uh, slide here. You can see this is the Tenda 5-port switch. I like the Tenda products. Like I said, I've been, I've been really uh, impressed by the, by the, you know, value and the quality and the function. They work great. This is, this is it right here. Uh, very small, very light little five port switch, weighs like four and a half ounces. Uh, and, you know, available on Amazon, use the links in the video description below. There are affiliate links, they help my channel out and it doesn't cost you any more than going directly to Amazon. And you also guarantee that you get the same product that I'm using in the video from the same seller, okay? And that's it, and you help me out. So do, do me a favor, do me a solid and uh, go use those uh, affiliate links. Also, uh, as you can see here, just 849 and, you know, insane. I've tested this switch by putting it between my modem and my router, basically plugging it in, in as a bridge in between just to see how much it can handle. It can handle it all, no problem at all. All my internet traffic without any issue, issue at all. Didn't slow it down at all that I could see. And it did it for three or four months. Actually, it was about four months. It was four months. And without fail like it, there was no problem it worked perfectly for that whole four months and it's still working perfectly plug and play nothing to do but just plug it in and walk away you're done right so uh, i also did the same thing with the eight port uh switch and same performance same everything no problems at all you know so basically i was just pushing packets through it to see if it would you know uh you know, burn out or anything like that no problems it works great so i can i can recommend these no problem i have uh, other products from tenda i, I used a uh oh, that's not going to help i used a uh, access point on one of my videos show you how to upgrade the wi-fi i'm still using that it works great as well so and again that was 30 dollars too it was like i said value packed uh, purchases really really uh, good ways to go now you may want something with a little sturdier case they make these in metal cases and here's the uh, five port switch in a metal case. It's heavier, it's sturdier, uh, and you know maybe you, you prefer the metal case over the plastic one, but it's gonna cost you $3 more to get that. But you know, depends. I, I kind of like the metal cases, but you know, to me, it, it, as long as it functions, that's all that matters. And it's cheaper in the plastic uh, casing. Uh, here's the eight port uh, gigabit uh, switch. Again, if you need 2.4 gigabit switches, they're gonna be more expensive. Sorry, 2.5 uh, gigabit switches, they're gonna be more expensive. They're usually 35 bucks for a five port and up, upwards for bigger uh, uh, amounts. So yeah, you know, if you wanna match the speed of your 2.5 ethernet ports, uh, 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports on the back of your new advanced router, just switch the uh, switch from one gigabit to a 2.5. Now you can plug this into a 2.5 gigabit port, but you're only gonna get one gigabit output from any of the ports on the switch. And you can plug 100 megabit devices into this uh, switch. It'll just go down to 100 megabit for that device. So it's completely uh, plug and play and completely compatible, really, really good. And this also comes in a metal case for, uh, that's, okay, well, how much was that one? Yeah. 11.39, right? I mean, crazy. Uh, for an extra five bucks or so, you can get it in a metal case, but 
there's no difference in the performance between the two of them. I've looked at the specs on both of them. They're identical. So basically they took the guts out of the plastic casing or housing and put them in metal housing. So yeah. Uh, and so that's all your options to do this. And again, if you want to add, uh, you know, if you want to daisy chain these, you can then uh, do that as well. Uh, so, you know, you can put 16 ports by just buying two eight port, uh, switches but there are 16 port switches as well maybe go that route it's probably a more efficient uh and and better solution but you can stack them no problem uh i have and tested them and again super fast no problems at all so that's basically it for that problem uh solving that problem uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way do me a huge favor give me a thumbs up give me a like down there uh that helps my channel on youtube and helps youtube to recognize that uh, uh, it should be showing my videos to people so i really appreciate that also if you like my content want to see more of this stuff uh definitely uh, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon. That way you'll be notified every time I put up a new video and you can watch it at your own uh, leisure. Uh, and again, I appreciate those subscriptions. Uh, comment section below the video. Click on the, uh, you know, anything you want to say to me, any questions you have, any video suggestions you have, anything you want to say to me, put them in the comment section below. I uh, you know, read my comments daily and I respond to them daily as well. So I really love your feedback. Uh, video suggestions, I love those as well. Questions, well, obviously one of these questions made this video, so I really, really appreciate those questions as well. Um, so yeah, anything you want to say to me, put it down there. I look all the time and I respond regularly. And, I, you know, again, really appreciate that as well. Uh, so anything, uh, uh, like I said, video description, all the links for this hardware will be in the video description. Those are affiliate links. They help me out uh, a little bit. I get a little bit of the sale from Amazon. Uh, and it doesn't cost you any more than going there directly and ordering it directly. The price will be the same. So one way or the other, uh, you, you know, you get the product. But if you use the links in my video description, you will also get them from the sellers that I bought them from. And you will also get exactly the same hardware that I used in the video, which guarantees that you get the same result. So, you know, smart to do that. And you help me out at the same time. And it doesn't cost you any more than going directly to Amazon. Perfect, right? So I appreciate that when you use those. And I appreciate you watching and supporting my efforts here on YouTube. Okay, once again, and like always, take care of yourself. And we will see you on the next video.